Hey, uh, guys. Um, so there's a lot of a lot going on right now, and um, obviously a lot of people don't know there's a difference between the Bible and scriptures. So I'm just going to take out time, very brief time, to explain. Um, if you know that you don't know what the scriptures are, and you think that the scriptures are the same as the Bible. You're wrong. Very wrong. Um, the Bible was compiled by men. Most men who are not even believers. Said so they canonized it. People decided to choose what was supposed to be there. Now, is there Septuagint and whatever? The Torah, yes. Uh, that's where you find like Moses and the Genesis, Psalms and the prophets. But after that, if you notice the books that are in the Catholic Bible, are different from the books that are in your Pentecostal Bible or even in um, like Jehovah's Witness, Good News Bible has different uh, like extra chapters in Daniel or something. Um, stop arguing. People should learn to be open to new things. Don't defend things blindly. I don't understand as a temptation, there's this thing it robs you of when um, you just hear something that, it, that, that you know, touches what you believe in. Don't, don't don't argue go and search okay the Bible you have though is uh, a compilation by men like that that can't be trusted right but then meanwhile uh, you have uh, the disciples of Jesus or Yeshua or Yashua who um, started a path and everything and then their way of life was stolen and it was uh, adopted by the Roman church the Roman state the state of Rome and then they formed a religion out of what was supposed to be pure so okay so what are you saying are you saying the Bible we have is not correct yeah she so to shouldn't we read it no you have to start somewhere read it first and when you're done you go further but you don't read nothing no research and you're arguing every time posting scriptures out of point like yo guys and then you're a white person the gospel is also supposed to be to liberate the captives and you've never said a word a word to liberate any African American or Native American or uh, uh, Asian American from from systemic racism you've not never but you, you go online and you post a post and post like yo test your teeth what fruits do you even bear like how do you guys cope someone else posts about how the church is not helping people you should help people you don't react you hear about sins going on in the church you don't react but once oh the Bible oh, it triggers you then you come and start posting and making noise see behave yourselves you should behave yourselves <laughs> it's better for you to learn now I know it's not something you're used to it's new but you gotta learn you have to start somewhere you have to start somewhere <laughs>